been involved with ARC for so long. It feels like half my career at this point. I am Gareth Coker, and I am the composer for ARC, the animated series. Fantastic work, everyone. The ARC animated series is based on the game of the same name. I wrote all of the music for the game and it amounts to about five and a half hours of material. Jeremy, who is the boss of Studio Wildcard, he was like, why don't you get involved in the TV show as well? Because you know ARC's music better than anyone else on the planet. Uh, and I thought about that for two seconds and I said, yes. We're at Abbey Road Studios, which is probably the most famous recording studio in the world. This is the best place for this kind of music. We have this massive room behind me. Very heavy, very powerful. We haven't hired a specific orchestra. We've hired like an all-star team of the best players from all of London's different orchestras. What's really insane is the brass section. We have 26 brass players. And we put them all together and we get this massive, enormous sound. One of the things I love about the show and I think that most people will be very surprised by. This show is 100% character driven. Yes, it happens to have dinosaurs in, but the show's strength is its characters and the storytelling for those characters. My favorite piece of music is probably Helena's theme. Helena Walker is one of the main characters. She's a fairly meek 21st century paleontologist. She's just trying to survive. He goes from being meek to basically a warrior. characters with different ethnic backgrounds. They all have unique instruments. I brought over my longtime collaborator, Kristen Nagus, and her big bag of flutes, and she is bringing these characters to life with their unique instrumentation. talking about scoring for a game versus scoring for a TV show, you're working with a passive medium as opposed to an active medium. There's only one way that this show can go, and it's the same every time. Whereas in a video game, there's a million ways to get to the end result. That's been the, the biggest challenge for me. So there was one scene that stands out as being difficult, partially because it was so tightly edited and scripted. And it was Helena's big training montage with Mei Yin, the Chinese warrior. They had to score every single nuance, every single lift, every single fall down. There were so many points where I had to change the music, but it also still has to feel musical. My job for the TV show is not to reinvent the wheel, it's to make the show's music feel like it comes from the game. One of the things that's really big for us on ARC is having creative convergence. We want the themes to carry over from the game to the TV show. That's also one of the reasons why I'm involved, because who better to do that than the person who has written all of the music already? My favorite moment to score was the fight with Broodmother. It's one of my favorite OG original cues from the game and we were able to re-release it and remix it, resurrect it and bring it to life in this very epic five minute sequence.
working on Arc has given me the chance to cross off so many things on Composer Bucket List. I've gotten to record in the best studio in the world, with the best musicians in the world, with the largest orchestra I'm ever likely to record with. The way Arc's universe is put together, it's a very easy world to live in as a composer. There's not many worlds I think I could have existed in and written 12 hours of music, and I'm not done yet. <laughs>